Gigabytes today. Intel's 13th Gen CPUs get insane clock. Intel's Arc GPUs get a massive performance boost. The GPU price crash is finally here, and Ryzen 7000 3D could destroy Intel's hope. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like Intel's next-gen Raptor Lake is set to get some wild clocks. In a new tweet from known leaker Raichu, Intel's upcoming CPUs come with even faster clocks than the current 12,900KS. And of course, Intel's special edition is heavily binned to get a very impressive 5.5GHz. According to Raichu, 13th gen will get 2 to 300MHz higher, meaning we could be looking at a CPU that gets up to an unreal 5.8GHz. What's really interesting about this is that Intel has already confirmed that Raptor Lake is set to get even more cores, so next-gen CPUs could literally get up to 24 cores at 5.8 GHz. Of course, that's likely a single-core boost clock, but that's still a big deal. Even if it gets a little over the 5.2 GHz clock of the 12900KS across all of its big cores, it could be a very nice performance boost. The real question, I think, will boil down to power draw. Either way, let's just say that Raptor Lake is looking even even better than I thought, though their GPUs are even better than that. But before I get to that, why aren't you at Micro Center? Okay, you're watching this video, but right after you should run there, because they've sponsored this video to bring you an amazing deal, or deals. Either way, you all know Micro Center is the ultimate place for building your PC. I mean, they actually have physical stores, along with everything you'll ever want for your build. From their glorious wall of motherboards, to cases, memory, and even water cooling. And today, they're offering the ultimate deal. For starters, they're giving $50 off select select new CPUs. Plus, you can get another $20 off when you choose a select motherboard bundle. But wait, there's more! Micro Center is also offering a $25 coupon when you submit your build to their build showcase. That's as much as $95 off. So don't wait and visit my link in the description to get the deal. Next up, it looks like Intel's Arc GPUs are actually way more powerful than early tests show. In a recent video from Bulls Lab, who you'll remember was one of the early reviewers to test Intel's first Arc GPU, specifically the A350M with the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro laptop. Well, the South Korean YouTuber discovered that a tech from Intel called Dynamic Tuning Technology was severely limiting the performance. Apparently, Dynamic Tuning Technology is an alternative to AMD's SmartShift or NVIDIA's Dynamic Boost, which essentially moves power between the CPU and GPU depending on the workload. Clearly something is wrong though because once the tech is turned off, Intel's Arc GPUs get a massive boost in performance. I mean, we're talking around double the FPS. You can see that games that once got 50 FPS are now getting closer to 100, 40s turn to 70s, and so on. Basically, Intel's GPUs are far better than it previously looked. I mean, remember that this is their lowest end part, and it's just just a mobile chip, so once the desktop parts get here, we could be looking at some serious performance. And speaking of desktop, the A770 desktop Arc GPU was spotted with 512 EUs and 2.4 GHz, so the desktop GPUs are coming. With that said, while there has been a new driver with bug fixes, unfortunately there are still issues with certain games, so Intel still has a ton of work to do on their drivers, and that's what was rumored to be causing all of these delays. Either way, this is a great sign. Let's just hope the company can get things squared away soon because I'm definitely getting pumped for their GPUs. Next up for today, remember a recent story that I covered from analyst John Petty of John Petty Research, where he claimed that a GPU price crash was probably coming. Well, it looks to already be here. In a new marketing campaign from NVIDIA, the company is touting that their RTX 3000 cards are quote, restocked and reloaded. And of course, this is a pretty terrible slogan. I mean, cringy names aside, they're bragging about actually getting stock a year and a half after the release. NVIDIA says in their materials, GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards are now available. Get the ultimate play with immersive ray tracing, a huge AI, blah blah blah. The big news is that a ton of GPUs did in fact get released, and prices seem to have dropped all over. Not only that, but there were even reports of some being sold at MSRP. 
Of course, if you can't find anything at MSRP, I personally wouldn't recommend it because next-gen cars are coming before long, and this very well could just be the beginning. We all know this wasn't done out of the kindness of Nvidia's heart. They'll sell GPUs for the highest price they can. So simply put, they're getting more stock and seemingly less demand. And like John Petty stated, this could come back and bite scalpers. Fingers crossed. And lastly for today, while Intel's next-gen CPUs are looking even better than we thought, Ryzen 7000 could be their worst nightmare. According to a new tweet from known leaker Graymon55, AMD's next-gen Zen 4 base CPUs will in fact have 3D vCache. And that's huge because if you haven't seen the reviews on their 5800X 3D, AMD's 3D packaging tech gives their Ryzen CPU a massive boost in gaming performance. So if AMD adds the same tech to their next-gen CPUs, Intel could be in real trouble. Now, with that said, he was asked if any SKUs would include 3D vCache in the first wave of CPUs. And Graymon55 answered that Zen 4 3D needs to wait for the current Zen 3D production line to to stop, so it likely won't be available until 2023, meaning AMD won't be launching their Ryzen 7000 series with 3D vCache. So not all CPUs will include the tech, but they're apparently set to launch sometime next year. And that's pretty interesting, because it would mean that AMD isn't just releasing it as some intermediary chip while we wait for the follow-up like their 5800X 3D. If it was released even mid-next year, that would be more like a regular release. So the company may include the tech in even more CPUs. CPUs. Plus, remember that while the 5800X 3D doesn't support overclocking, that isn't some new precedent for future Ryzen parts, so next-gen 3D vCache could potentially support overclocking as well. At the end of the day, AMD looks to be bringing the heat with Ryzen 7000. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Ryzen 7000 3D? Or what about Intel's upcoming desktop GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.